G'day guys, welcome back to Luke's Fishing Mission. Thank you for tuning in today. Would have been a good start falling down the rocks. I'm just down the creek. I'm gonna chase a few flathead today using the uh, ever faithful atomic prong plastic three inch. The light spin gear. The tide is running out pretty hard and um, I'm never usually here at this stage of the tide. I'm usually here much lower and fish the bottom. Last to run out and first to run in. Today, something a little bit different. Different stage of the tide. A lot more water than what I'm usually used to when I come here land based. I'm just going to walk the edge of this bank here with a little three inch prawn, prong soft plastic. See if I can get a couple of flathead for dinner. I've also got a little popper on the other rod, so I'll probably change it up later on, see if I can get a whiting or a flathead on top water. Okay, guys, I'm just walking the bank here, just covering as much ground as I can. Soft plastics on foot when you land base. Just got to cover that ground. And I know flathead sit along this edge because I've caught them here. You've got rocks and cobbles and you've got plenty of sandbars just out from here. So there will be flathead through here everywhere. And the atomic prong, especially the little three inch one on the light gear, I'm using four to 10 pound samurai reaction, seven foot spin rod. 2,500 egg beater, six pound braid, and about 12 pound leader for these flathead today. And I really wouldn't mind one for dinner. This is a spot I call the fridge. Whenever I want to fish for dinner, come here, it never lets me down. One eighth ounce on a 1 0 hook, and the little prawn, the little atomic prong, sinks down really naturally, nice and slow. You can just hop it off the bottom. But long casts are important. Cover as much ground as you can on your cast. Work it slow, but cast long. It's a little sand spit straight in front of me here and it drops off both sides of it. If I was a flathead, I'd be sitting on that drop off, waiting for the uh, flow to bring food to me. There we go. Another flathead. Woo! Two fish in five minutes. Thing is with flathead fishing too is don't walk out too far, even though you want to get out there and cast a long way. Fish could be just right up here in about 20 or 30 centimeters of water. I've commonly spooked flathead trying to do exactly that, walking out a far way so I can cast it even further. And then you spook the fish that are at your feet. Work your lure all the way back to your feet. Dirty water line here too. Run out tide. Nice and slow. Basically let it sink, cast it out. Let it sink to the bottom. And then still a little hop hop with your wrist. A little twitch of the wrist. Get it hopping up off the bottom. Cast along the bank. The flow is coming back this way. Running out. So bring the prawn or the atomic prong back with the flow and along the bank. Usually the fish are right up against these rocks along the edge here. It's meant to be 80 mils of rain today and it's been sunny as I think Uncle Livio, mate. You got that one a bit wrong, mate. Ooh. Oh, and that was a hit. Just had a hit then. Yeah, that was definitely a hit. Cast it out, let it slowly sink down and then give it the occasional twitch. A little bit of a double hop, so it just skips, skips off the bottom, sinks, skips, skips off the bottom, sinks. Bit of a pause when it's on the bottom too. I would love a flathead for dinner. I've got the whiting popper on too. So, can you get a whiting on popper later as well when the sun goes down a bit? Little drain like this looks perfect. Flow still coming out, dirty water line coming out here into this sandy little bay. I reckon there'll be a couple of fish out here getting the bait. That's getting forced out of this little creek here, out of this little drain. Let's try it. Okay, flicking them out that little drain now. Let's see if there's anything lurking out there. Should be. Oh, yep, yep. There we go, straight away. First cast in that drain. 
goes to show you look for the structure now it's only a tiny flathead but the point of it is there's a drain here water's going out here into the sandy little bay there's flow there's bait coming off the flats here out into the main channel predators are lying in ambush waiting now only a small flathead like i said but there's nothing to say why there wouldn't be bigger fish here one little flathead on the little atomic prong as i said tiny fish but yeah one of that little three inch prong there should be some bigger ones let's see if we can get one of them so camouflaged see you buddy keep doing what you're doing grow big just goes to show you gotta think like a fish i was literally talking up this little drain on the outgoing tide said that hopefully would be a predator out here and then first cast got one now tiny fish but that's not my point my point is that's where your your predatory fish will be laying in ambush so think like a fish fish those areas got outgoing water bait moving out here into this little delta you got a tidal line and a dirty water line there's going to be uh, predatory fish close by another fish second fish from that spot it's a bit heavier swimming sideways head shakes like a good flathead there we go another flathead Woo. two fish in five minutes the same location that's pretty cool just spat out a little bit of white bait spat that out little bait fish and just engulf that prawn now that's probably a good fish to keep perfect size not a big breeder and definitely legal but i've only been here 10 minutes and i'm not in any mood to go just yet and i'm still going to walk a fair way and i don't have an esky so this fish is going back if i caught it with about half an hour to go i probably would have kept it but can go back this guy beautiful fish probably about 45 centimeters long just hoover that little atomic prong down there that's pretty cool all right mate take this out get you back you get lucky fish you can go home all right buddy your lucky day buddy see you later so camouflaged two fish on this one little location where i thought they would be it's pretty cool love to get a really nice big flathead like 60 70 centimeters they are all through here just luck of the luck of the draw it's a real lucky dip element they can be here from 15 centimeters up to you know 80 centimeters long and bigger this is the habitat you want there's yabby beds there's cobble and rock there's sandbars there's flow there's drop-offs pretty much everything you need to find your flathead there are brim and there are whiting here we even hooked barra here Trevally, Queenies, all land based, you can always find a target species. You can always catch a good fish land based. Those people who blame, you know, not having a boat as to why they don't catch fish, it's rubbish. Put the time in, use the right gear, the right lures, put yourself in the right spot, and you're a good a chance, if not a better chance, as anyone in a boat. When you're off the bank, you're actually bringing the lure back to you into the shallows. When you're in the boat, you cast into the shallows and bring it back into the deep. And then eventually your lure is gonna come up off the bottom to get to the boat. And I'm basically rolling it all the way along the bottom to my feet. So it's probably more of an advantage being land-based, in my opinion. Particularly for flathead. 
Okay guys, I had a bit of fun. Got a couple of uh, flathead on the soft plastic prong. I'm gonna try the uh, Basto Sugar Pen Splash now, 75 mil. See if I can get a whiting or flathead on top water here. I've had, I've had great success with this lure on the whiting before at a different location. Quite a few little flathead as well. I haven't actually used this lure at this location before, but we know this flathead here and I'm hoping there's a few whiting here too. We'd love to get a whiting on top water this afternoon. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, I lost it. Oh, no, I still got it, I think. Oh, I lost it. Oh, what was that? Little GT, I reckon. Oh. Come again, mate, come again. Oh, yeah, oh. There's a little GT there. He had another go. Oh, hooks are too small, I reckon. Oh, bit of fun, come on. Stay hooked, mate. I'm winding it quick to excite these pelagics. Two hits and two casts from a GT. He might have wised up to it now. Oh, oh, behind it. Oh, come on. Still there. Guys, I'm so keen to get something on popper now. Had those hits from what I think were GTs, those hookups, they come off. A couple of hits. I'm really keen to try something on popper. The sun is going down in the background over there. It's getting a bit later. It's about five o'clock. So early morning, late afternoon lends its best time to top water. I just want to get something here on the Basto Sugar Pen Splash. Whiting, flathead, GT, I don't care. Got two flathead on the plastic. Now I want something off the top. So I'm meandering this lure, walking the dog at about one twitch per quarter turn of my reel. And then I'm blooping it as well on other retrieves. I'm just mixing it up. I'm just keeping it consistently moving at the moment. I find that the fish can line it up better if it's consistently moving. They can, like, they can project where it's going to be. But when you're blooping, and sometimes they go to strike where it is and you're blooping it away, they could miss it. So right now I'm just trying to attempt to strike. I'm doing whatever I can to try and make that happen. Here we go. Something on top water here. Doesn't feel very big, but it's on surface. It's not very big at all. What is it? It's a whiting. There we go, it's a whiting. Awesome. I'm gonna put him back anyway, but it's pretty cool to get a whiting at this location. I have caught plenty of whiting on this lure, but not at this location. So it's really cool to get something off the top anyway and hooked on the little assist hooks as usual. Nice. There's one. So sharp. Cheers, mate. I've done quite a few videos now catching whiting on top water. But that was a different location. I'd never caught a whiting at this spot before. So it was just good to just good to get it done and just good to get something else on, on lure this afternoon. Got the two flathead on plastic couple of hits from GTs on surface and then now the whiting on surface so I've done quite a few videos as I said on whiting on surface and you know this is 75 mil lure and that was probably like a 23 maybe just legal 24 centimeter whiting on a 75 mil lure so they are vicious whiting you do catch them on lures and you do catch them on larger lures and off the surface got something again guys oh oh Bit of drag. What have we got here? Oh, it came off. Damn. I think that was a whiting and I think it was a decent one. Pull and drag like that. Didn't look like a flathead, eh? I thought it was a whiting, I reckon it was. Previously in that cast I'd hooked up, so whether or not it came off and followed it and got it again, 
or if it was another one of the school that grabbed it, but might be a couple of whiting here. I reckon that was a whiting that time. Got another fish here, guys. Oh, I just dropped it again. Oh my God. Why aren't they staying hooked up? Now it's annoying me. The last couple of fish have been good fish, but there's multiple of them. I feel like I'm getting an inquiry nearly every cast at the moment. All right, just need one to stick. There's a whole heap of whiting I reckon out there flicking. I reckon that's what they are. You know when they go sideways and you can see the sides and that shimmers silver in the flats? That's what they're doing. I reckon they're good whiting. The last two fish I'd hooked up I reckon we're both whiting, and I reckon they're both good fish. Happen to lose them both. Might just loosen that drag in case I'm pulling the hooks. Bloody land that way, bloody facing that way. On this sandbar, another flathead there. Bunch of marks where the flathead's have been laying here, sand flats. Another one here, another two. There and there. It's a good sign. Yeah, guys, closing out today's session. Had a lot of fun down here today. Just the three fish landed. Got the two flathead on soft plastic on the atomic prong initially. One of which was um, a reasonable fish, about 45 centimeters. Would have been a good dinner fish, but I caught it earlier in the day and I wasn't going to drag it round and get it sport from the heat because I didn't have any eye so let it go deserve to live and then I got one whiting on the surface lure on the Bass A sugar pan splash 75 mil had a great lot of success with that lure at another spot but obviously got whiting here at this spot as well and then I've had Trevally hooked up lost them and a couple more whiting bigger ones I reckon hooked up and lost them as well so Bit of activity anyway, a fair bit of action in a couple of hours. Had a great afternoon after work, just packed a couple of rods and said, yep, gonna go for a fish. Knocked off at three, came down the river. Anyone can do it. Nice land based spot, close to home, close to work, close to everyone actually, is in the middle of town. And uh, you can have a ball down here doing this. And coming into winter, certainly the better time. And land based, you can put yourself right in the game. There's no excuses for not having a boat. You can still come here and other land based spots, catch a fish like you small lures have a ball guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe cheers